What's up guys and welcome to the Season 7 End Tournament, aka also the Thanksgiving Special. Now this is another massive tournament, just like Season 6's was, and actually it is so big that I had to disclude 44 participants from this tournament, because, well, I used Challenge to make my brackets, and its maximum was only 256. I have 300 units. So, that's why you won't see some people. I made sure to get everyone new in and just disclude, like, all the cheap units that wouldn't do much or just most boring units. I accidentally cut out all the TF2 units instead of all the Brawl Stars units, but eh, it'll be fine. It won't make much of a difference. So, we started off in the seating with highest value to lowest value. And then I randomized it three times. So hopefully we get some matchups that you have never seen before and that I have never seen before. So we're going to go ahead and start it off first with Evertail's Shauna Dragon Slayer versus Other Games Shotgun Witch. The first match of just many. This is a single elimination tournament, so you have one chance. Music will be played after round one for any character that has a theme. So got the lightning coming down and well now Shauna is in close with fire and if we know anything about fire it does really good and also this tournament is pretty much going to serve as a who do we have to nerf next time so Shauna is going to go ahead and take it and we will see you next match I just realized that I accidentally left, left William in we'll replace him with someone interesting it is a struggle getting any of this ready to go because I have to look so hard but next up is Neo Undertale crossovers Damie phase 2 versus My Hero Academia's uh, All Might who I gave the real name of so this will be interesting Damie has a lot of health and can deal a lot of damage all Might also has a lot of health and can deal a lot of damage. So, can these birds just. Can the birds and fire deal enough damage? That one over there is very, very much so screwed. It's it's all about damage here. These three over here, they're gonna absolutely murk these two All Mights, unfortunately. This is a pretty big name match to be super early in the tournament. Two very expensive, two very cool, very powerful units, just one of them is going to be out in the first round. And currently, it does not look good for All Might, which is unfortunate because, well, I need I need themes I can play. And I don't have one for Damie because she's an OC, and well, I'm not good at making music, but that being said, Domination Clause is in effect, and we will see you all next time in the next match. Next up is going to be Brawl Stars is Immortus versus one of Historical's only reps in Riot Police. And I mean, if it's one of their only ones, at least they got a good one to have here. Riot Police is no pushover. Let's be real here. Despite being one of the cheapest units, and actually the cheapest unit in bracket because everything under him was removed for being too lame. He packs a punch, as we can see here, in this domination against Mortis. And we will, due to that, we'll see you in the next match. Next up is going to be Elements Thunder Czar versus AU's Blueberry. Now, this is not domination clause because, well, uh, I mean. It's it's different. There's a different clause in effect for this match, obviously. So let's go ahead and well, one poor blueberry is gonna get screwed over here. Hopefully, allowing the rest of them to be able to get up close and personal with the Thunder Czars. And well, they are. And now there's there's nothing I can do for them except well hope. So the, the more 
I need it to not be diverse because I need things to lose in order to uh be able to get factions out of this bottom row here and actually, you know, have a good chance of picking the right factions. But we'll see you in the next match. Next up is going to be my hero academia's Dabby, Dobby, however you pronounce it, versus the new and improved Doki Doki Fandom City's Yato. Now, yeah, the fire is not going to do anything, but the ice breath may, the uh, fire breath, is possibly going to do something. Here you go, the swords up. Well, he's got enraged, he's got the sword casting. They aren't going to be able to live through it. Yato moves on. Like, that that's a pretty important character to be down immediately. Dabby being the best character from the MHA faction, as we saw in the MHA Battle Royale, but... Now it is Miscellaneous' is Melee Master versus Friday Night Funkin's Tricky, and, well, this is gonna be close. Tricky sque squeezes out Battle, battle 1. How about Battle 2? It all comes down to accuracy of the Melee Master's big hits. There goes one. There goes one big hit. It's not enough. That is another really important character down immediately. Tricky moves on. Next up is going to be Holiday's Shelf versus, well, currently unfactioned, but will be in the other game's faction, Ultra Fish Mungeon 3000. Now, well, of course, Lightning just ruined that entire thing, so we gotta go with the whole one shelf gets wrecked. The <laughs> he was airborne for like, um, he was airborne for like eight seconds there. Oh, and now that they got a second one off, it's it's all over. Oh, one fish bungeon is in. Fish bungeon moves on. Let's go. You'll love seeing newcomers win. I would recommend not blinking because you're going to miss this one. Undertale Sands versus AU's TS Underswap Kara. That's what I thought. I, there's there's nothing I'd be able to do there to fix that. So we'll see you next match. Next up is f saving our country's Fire Lord N versus Brawl Stars' is Bull. No, this is gonna be a long one, but Fire Lord N is going to take this because well, fire is really good. So. We'll be back when it's over. Well, this has been quite the long match. The long, long, very, very, very one-sided match. Bull just really didn't stand a chance against Fire Lord N here. And just... Um, please just hurry up. Just finish, just finish, just finish it up. Burn! Oh my god, really? It's been going on for, uh, like, well over four minutes now. Just kill him. Kill him. Oh my lord. Just, just, just kill him. Just kill him. Are you kidding? Okay, we're done here. We're moving on to the next match. Next up is F Souls Fear versus Tales of Kyrev Ezekiel. Okay. Cool. Just gonna say, where'd he go? Well, I don't remember exactly what he has. I think he has a, like, vampire bite or something. But, uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if he can win this. 
Oh, he can become a tornado. That's cool. Yeah, I don't remember what I gave a lot of these. What did he just do to this one fear? Because he went from like full health to none. Excuse me? He was all the way over there and then somehow stomped over here? This is, um, this is a battle. Just trying to follow him, honestly. See, like, what ha What happens is he comes in, gets one good hit off, and then is spooked away. I don't want to sit through a second round of this, but I don't want to do one. My tournament, my rules. It, it'll be really, it'll, it'll it's actually going to be really close here. Oh, we had an airborne tornado for a minute there, for a second there. Fear gets to move on. Sure, why not? Next up is another big one. We have Random Lust Servers, Plasma Sands versus Gaming Servers, Wyvern. And now from uh, Season 6, Wyvern took third place, I believe, is what it was. So, can he... Uh, make it high again? Definitely seems possible, and it's about the last match. I, I know it seems a little unfair, but like... I got one day to do this, man. I got like... I need to finish this in a few hours. So I just, I had to get through as much as I can. And when we have matches like Fire Lord N versus Bull, that take like four to five minutes each for a match, it's just... It's just not worth it, man. It's just not. So they might kill one wyvern here, actually. It'll be really close. I think they'll be able to kill one of them. Like, one more lightning is all they need. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. They did kill one. We'll see you next match. Next up is other games Sakia versus other games Dust. And well, I mean, with Ezekiel, he'll definitely be able to get into one of our random tournaments where you can truly just see his skill. But this is going to take a while. It's completely one sided. There's no way Dust win this. So we'll see you at the end. <laughs> We're here at the end and just. Just going to slowly. Yeah, there's there's a lot of knives in the ground, swords more so. But just, bro, Sakia, I work on your aim a little bit. <laughs> we'll see you next match. Next up is going to be Brawl Stars' El Primo versus Ultra Cabin's Javen. And then that doesn't mean anything, and you know, again, of course, this is gonna take forever, man. So, we'll be back soon. Well, this is <laughs> a lot closer than I thought it would be, which, god, it means we have to do two matches. Because, I mean, both of these characters are interesting, and you know what, actually, we'll, we'll go back and do a second match for Frenzy for Fear versus Ezekiel after this. So, El Primo won the first one, and we'll see you at the end of the second one. And, well, we're pretty much at the end again. It'll, it'll be another close one. It looks like Javen will take it this time. Which, unfortunately, means, well, we have a third match to get to. This isn't that just great, so I'm not even gonna bother showing you the third match. We'll ju I'll just cut to the end of it. Here we go. At the end. It look well, Javen's gonna take it again. And now skip to the end of the easy heal versus Francine. God dang it. Alright, we'll see you at the end of the third match. Well <sighs> We'll see you next match. 
here's a bit of an exception to the uh, cost and cost of units rule thing that I've been doing because the tree on a unit makes things glitch out so it's TKR's Tales of Kyrev's Ivy versus Miscellaneous Satan and well that's why so that's why we only have it's a it's a 5v1 instead of like a 9v2 because it's like a coin flip whether or not we get them all on field, so it's like a 125 chance here. So close! Come on, please, just... Just... The immediate one after I paused, of course. Then of course it's like that. I expect amazing things from Satan this time around. He's really buff now. <laughs> he's still got a bit long... He's got a lot more HP, almost 10 times more than he used to have. He's gonna lock units in place for like the entirety of the match and then make them unable to fight back. He's just got so many abilities now. I don't know. I think I made him too strong. We'll see. Next match. Next up is Friday Night Funkin's Pico versus Doki Doki Phantom City's Eevee. Now... Well, Eevee's a good unit. Pico might be able to tag them in bat form, but if they can't, they, they've already lost. It's so over. Eevee has speed and DPS, and with the speed and bat transformation, she can actually, you know, get the fireballs to hit. We're going at a pace of about one match per minute. Be done in four hours. We'll see you next match. Next up is going to be Underswap Virus versus Medieval Ultimate. Now, if these Medieval Ultimates can get in range, well, they're so screwed. But if not, then if we keep going like this, then, well, they're the ones who are screwed. We'll see you at the end. Here at the end, they managed to catch one Underswap Virus, but. It's not enough. We'll see you next match. Next up is going to be a Evertail's Kalin at Daughter of the Dragon versus Miscellaneous's Wraith. Now Kalin has been nerfed in the past. She's got she should have a lowered attack speed. As well as like under half the health she used to. It's not gonna matter because the orbs do so much damage. Oh my lord. Okay, well, we'll see you next match. Next up is Gaming Server's Joshua Flight Tail versus Neo Undertale Crossover's Elise. Now, right, I think. She, yeah, she was made to handle groups, so this isn't gonna go very well. C was made to handle. As individuals, Elise was made to handle groups. They're sisters, so, you know. But, this is still gonna take quite a while. Here we are. Well, yep, that was the end. Joshua Flight Tail, let's move on and see you next match. Next up is going to be Undertale Crossover's Rotten versus the currently unfactioned Larian Dreamer. Now, right after this, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and see if I can just call any matches right now to, uh, you know, save some time, so. Rotten wins, obviously, and we'll see you next match. Random Lust Server Blade versus Tails Kyrev E, and Blade will win that one. Brawl Stars Frank versus AU Ink Sands, Ink Sands wins. Miscellaneous Katana Master versus Friday Night Funkin' Sarvent Gospel Forum, Sarvent wins. Gaming server Panda vs. Saving Our Country's Ivan Iceborne, the Ivan wins. Saving Country's Devin or Damien vs. The Keeper's Run. TKR's William, William gets disqualified. Friday Night Vonkin Garcello vs. MHA All for One, we've seen that before, Garcello wins. And that's about all I can see, so we'll see you in the next match. Our next match is going to bring us to Doki Doki Phantom Cities Wither vs. Gaming Server's Adrian. Now, 
course, Adrian is going to get right up into Wither's face and just kind of start shooting her. I can't pay attention right now because I gotta open up my Chromebook in order to get back onto Challenge. So, it's, it's very, very much so an Adrian game. Which is good because that means, you know, more of one faction gets to move on, and we'll see you in the next match. Next up is going to be Tales of Kyrev's Quinn vs. Random Lust Server's Demon Horror Phase 2. Oh, and uh, yeah, I removed all of the Phase 1 characters. So, normal Demon Horror, normal Damie, and normal Susie, but we haven't seen Susie Phase 2 yet, so... Those were removed from the tournament because the Phase 2 ones are just more interesting. Unfortunately, you know, Quinn isn't gonna last very long here. Demon Horror moves on, and we'll see you next match. This is already over before it starts in Wild West Ultimate vs. Wolf Shadow from Gaming Server. Why is this over? Because Ice really sucks. This isn't even max range for them. Like, it, it's, it's just so over. Wild West moves on, and we'll see you in the next match. It's Miscellaneous Fire Sword Wheeler, the Ignitus versus the Royal Guardsman in training from Undertale. Papyrus. Jeez. <laughs> okay, well, both skeletons are out. See ya. Next up is going to be Ultimate's Dynasty Ultimate versus Saving Our Country's Marissa. Which does remind me, I need to do a Saving Our Country review. So, like, y'all can know what these characters actually are. Doesn't matter, you're gonna go ahead and take the match. We'll see you in the next one. Next up is Evertales Yuki versus Gaming Server Shishi. Now this might be one of the only matches where Ice can actually win something. Cause, well, Evertale characters are really, really tanky. And that is exactly what's gonna happen here. And we'll see you next match. Next up is going to be Callum, ver the eternally unfashioned Callum versus Oh dear, Sky Manifest, and well, yep, obviously we gotta go with the whole thing. That poor Sky. Oh dear. <laughs> so I might do just this video being round one. I might do like a few videos for the tournament. Those hurricane slashes, those a mile emotion they lose. They didn't do as much as thought they would do. This is this will be close. That one's a third match. We can we can say Callum won the first round, but well, we gotta figure out who wins this one. It does not look good. Oh my god, that was so much worse. But we'll see you in the next match. Okay, I added an extra one, but I have to keep this in, because, um... Yeah. That is... That is the tiniest daddy dearest you've ever seen in your life. Anyway, this is Fire Night Funkin's Daddy Dearest versus My Hero Academia's Katsuki Bakugo. Alright, round one. Let's see if this small dad dearest can do anything. Ah, oh, he lived. He didn't get hit by the... By, by the explosion. Here come the tornadoes. Live! Live! He's livid! Oh, they haven't done any damage yet. <laughs> Is he? He's actually... No, he's dead! No! Our tiny dad! 
Is he okay? He's he's not okay. He 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 he's not okay. All right. Well, I don't think there's anything I could do to help Dad win. So, Bakugo gets to take this match, and we'll see you in the next one. Next up is going to be Frowlin versus Squall. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. They have a really fast attack speed, but just a really poor weapon. Let's watch that again, shall we? It's a newcomer. Oh my god, dude, the bouncy balls! It doesn't matter, though. Uh, Squall's gonna take it, and we'll see you next match. Next up is going to be Evertail's Anya versus Neo Undertale Crossover's Angie. Now, this is gonna take a while, I think, so we'll be back soon. And we're back, Angie has taken it, and there's enough t for me to, uh, disqualify, to say Angie gets to move on. Next up is going to be Tails of Kairos, Lenora versus Doki Doki Phantom City's Lulu, Broken Lulu. Now there is a lot of summoning that is going to be had here. Use the boxes. Use the boxes. Use the boxes. I'm gonna tell you right now, you might want to use the boxes. Which is, yeah, they're, they're, they are really strong. The summon ability of summon witches is just <laughs> very underrated, I think. I mean,. Probably because something like this happens. <laughs> what? All right. Um. Either Ray Lenore is gonna take it, and there's nothing I can do to help Lulu. We'll see you next match. Next up is going to be Undertale crossovers Chasm Tail Kara versus MHA's Hamiko Toga. Now this could be very interesting because Toga is actually kind of a strong unit because of teleporting behind the opponent is very strong. Well, it it, do, it is helping them a lot here. Definitely. Instead of having to close the distance, they can just, you know, be right behind Chasm. And I think I'm just going to do 32... I'm going to split this up into parts and have 32 matches per part. So, Gundam Deal Care is going to take it, and we'll see you next match. Her last match for the day will be Undying the Undying versus Satan Claws. And now this is for sure going to take a while, so we'll be back soon. I'm just going to go ahead and call it here. And actually, I think when we get to top 64 is when I'll start playing themes, because that's the top quarter of the bracket, and that's how I do it in the daily tournaments for anyone that has a theme. I'm going to go ahead and say that Satan Claws gets to move on, and we'll see you all in the next video.